Hello my dear friends, Shurma here. A very warm welcome to my show. It's a fine morning here in India and continuing with the winter series, let's paint a candle scene in one stroke style on a note card. The list of supplies for this particular project is right here. This video is divided into chapters for your convenience, so let's dive in to the first chapter, that is, creating the background for the painting. To start with, I have a white watercolor paper, which is 4 inches by 6 inches in size. Next, I went ahead and dropped light yellow liquid watercolor on the white watercolor paper. And I stenciled over it to create an interesting effect. Now if you would like to know how this kind of a background can be made then please click on the video at the top right hand corner of the screen and that will lead you to one such video. Now in the next chapter I would like to share with you how to paint the candles. So here is the palette flesh tint, yellow, crimson lake, burnt umber, and white acrylic. I have got two brushes. One is a flat brush number four and the other one is a liner brush and with these two brushes I would be sharing with you how to create the candles. Now at this point I have picked up my flat brush number four with flesh tint on it and I'm just creating the shape of the candles I would like to have on the stenciled background. So I have chosen a spot for the candles and I'm just creating the shape. There are two candles here. These candles will be the focal point of the painted scene. Next, I go ahead and pick up white on my flat brush number 4 and I try to build over the flesh tint and try to give some character to the body of the candle. The white acrylic over the flesh tint gives a certain kind of dimension to the candle. It looks more rounded and fat. Don't you think so? Let me know if you like the candle shape. Next, I pick up some crimson red acrylic on my liner brush and I'm trying to create some candy stripes on the first candle. Now, the month of December is synonymous with very bright colors like red, green, brown, gold. And that is the reason I have picked up these pretty colors for a very warm candle scene. Simply looking at these colors gives us a lot of warmth in the winter months, right? Let me know in the comments below what kind of colors do you like during the winter months? Well, I like the crimson red a lot. It stands out among all the whites and golds and of course yes the green as well all right so it's time to build the second candle so i have picked up burnt umber on my liner brush and i'm just trying to create the body of the candle and also the well I keep adding color till I'm satisfied with its look. So certain times I am using a lot of white to give the shape to the candle, to make it look more rounded. Next comes the halo. And I am creating the halo with yellow and white acrylic and a liner brush just suggesting a kind of halo. 
too much of yellow or white acrylic over there will take away the attention from the entire scene hence we need to keep it mellow next comes the candle wick so for that i have used burnt umber on a liner brush and thereafter i go ahead and create the flame on the wick with acrylic yellow crimson red and a bit of white that leads to chapter number three and that is creating the holly leaves and the greens on my palette i have white acrylic bamboo green deep green olive green crimson red burnt umber and gold acrylic and that's my favorite so here i'm using a flat brush number six and i'm loading it with bamboo green deep green and white and this is multiple loading of the brush so i have loaded the brush with three colors as you see and i'm blending the colors well and at this point i am trying to create holly leaves in one stroke style of painting as you can see i'm changing the proportion of the greens certain times i'm using olive green more as compared to the bamboo green so it gives a different look to the hollies aren't they pretty so if you are new to one stroke style of painting or you would like to refresh your stroke skills then i would encourage you to go ahead and visit my past videos i would be very happy to drop some of the links in the description box below and they are very detailed videos on one stroke style of nature paintings mostly florals and birds and i'm sure you will like them next i have picked up my liner brush along with burnt umber and a bit of gold to make some little branches thereafter i move on to chapter number four that is painting the holly berries the best part of the scene so i pick up crimson lake on my liner brush and i'm creating little balls of red in certain spots of the scene i will also go ahead and add a bit of burnt umber and white to make them look more real so these are those lovely holly berries which add a lot of interest to any kind of winter painting in christmasy colors the spots with white acrylic are the shiny spots on the berries at this point i thought some more little berries here and there would look nice so that is what i'm trying to create over here now these berries are smaller as compared to the main central ones next i go ahead and connect them to some branches and twigs and that completes the candle scene painting on the white watercolor panel next comes assembling of the note card so i have the painted panel a red cardstock which just frames around the white painted panel and i have a white note card base once all the elements of the note card are assembled this is how it looks i went ahead and added a sentiment to the card to give it a finished look 
So that's a wrap on today's project and hope you enjoyed watching me paint the candle scene in one stroke style on this pretty red note card. I would be very happy to read your comments. So do communicate with me and let me know if you liked it or not. Please connect with me on my social media handles and it would be a great pleasure to be in touch with you. As always, thanks for watching and being with me till the end. Here are some of my past video tutorials in one stroke style of painting. You might like them as well. So we'll be back very soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.